Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. In this video, I'm talking about or comparing two different essential oil brands, Young Living versus Plant Therapy. I'm doing this video because it's been requested um, by a lot of people for me to just compare Young Living to other brands and just give you my honest opinion. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, and there are a couple of different brands that people want me to do this video for. Um, Plant Therapy being the most popular, I think. Um, Revive was close to that. Um, and there, I think is ancient nutrition or whatever Dr. Josh Axe's oils were. But anyways, there's a few that I'm going to do. If you guys like this video and want me to keep doing them, let me know in the comments and I will continue to compare and contrast. Um, okay. So side note, I am a 100% Young Living lover. I've been a member for close to two years now. I think it's Close, getting there, close to the two year mark, uh, maybe next spring. But anyways, um, I love their quality, the standards. I love that their farms are accessible. I, there is a science to distilling essential oils and Young Living has um, for years upon years uh, just nailed that down and perfected it. So I think Young Living is the best and obviously that is why, or that is why I use them. Um, but I am open to researching other brands and trying them and letting you know what I think. So, um, that is my disclaimer, but I am going to do my best to give you just an unbiased, I don't know, I, I think it's impossible to do unbiased, but I'm going to review these for you guys. So the, I did a small plant therapy order. So right off the bat, one pro is that it's not a membership program or it's not a multi-level marketing is some I mean whatever you want to call it it is not network marketing you don't have to be a member you don't have to buy your membership um, with which with Young Living is just buying your oils but anyways you can just go on their website and buy oils which I think that's really cool so I got a couple of oils that I use every day um, and then I got a couple of fun ones. Uh, so I'm going to dive in. So this is their Germ Fighter Synergy. This is like their Thieves comparison. And I got their roller. So another pro is I like um, that they have rollers. You can buy rollers just like uh, Young Living's. And you can buy different sizes like Young Living's. But also they have different sizes. So they have 10 milliliter, which is very rare. I have like one... Um, 10 milliliter bottle of Young Living oil and it was like a special edition one. So I like the medium size because Young Living is either 5 or 15. Plant Therapy also has 2.5. Like look at this little cutie. I wish Young Living did this because it would make the more expensive oils like Blue Tansy um, more accessible to people. Um, but anyways, so another pro is I like their sizes and I like that they have rollers. Um, another thing I like is that they have um, a kids line, which I didn't get any of, but they also just put kind of on some oils. See where it says kids safe right there? Uh, and I'll talk about that in a minute, why that might be confusing to people. But anyways, this is the first one. This is their Thieves. This is their germ fighting blend. So right off the bat, it has a different cinnamon in it. So it doesn't smell like thieves. And if you're a Young Living member, you 1000% love thieves and everything about it. So when you, when I smell this, I'm like, this is not thieves, but it does have all of the other oils um, that thieves has. So let me just compare. This is my thieves bottle. Okay, so where is it? Okay, lemon, clove, eucalyptus, cinnamon, cassia, and rosemary. And then it tells that it's diluted with fractionated coconut oil um, at 2%. So this is clove, lemon, cinnamon, ver verum, different cinnamon, eucalyptus radiata. This is a different eucalyptus too. So that's why it smells different too. And then rosemary. Hmm. Rosemary, one, comma, eight to cineal. I don't know exactly what that means. So um, it's a couple of different types of oil. So that's why it smells different. But I don't know. I just, I like that they have this option. 
like a comparable oil to Thieves. And then the next three are just oils that we use all the time. Orange, lavender, and cedarwood. Lavender and cedarwood I like to diffuse at night. It's a good one um, to wind down to. Cedarwood's super grounding. I love cedarwood. Um, the very first time I smelled cedarwood, I didn't like it, but out of the bottle, on, and diffusing, it's so good. Um, so, this smells exactly like Young Living cedarwood. So as far as smells go, I like it. I um, like that they also, on the labels, they give you different uses. So it says, can help support healthy respiratory function. Um, and how to do that. And then promote a healthy flake-free scalp, which cedarwood is what I use in my um, hair sprays. So I like that. That's really cool. And then also, um, visit plant therapy and has a phone number. Okay, so it says kids safe on it, which if I'm like new to essential oils and I just see kids safe and it says in tiny, tiny letters underneath when diluted. So it's kind of just a little bit confusing where I would rather have a list of oils that aren't safe. I don't know. I'm just, I, that was just a weird thing to me. I don't know. Obviously, with kids, you want to dilute all oils, um, but there are just a small amount of oils. Like, most oils in general are safe when diluted, when used properly, um, so it's just weird. And then also, the lavender doesn't say the kids safe on it in the same way. It's a different label, and it doesn't say when diluted, so it just says kids safe. So someone might just put this on their baby, <laughs> and it's not okay. You need to dilute. So it's just a little, like mislead i guess it's just not consistent packaging i don't know maybe they're getting to, ready to repackage or relabel not sure but anyways the lavender smells exactly the same too oh another pro is i like the um little stickers on the top that they automatically just come with because when they're sitting like in a drawer or in a bag or something you can just see right on the top which young living has the stickers that go on the top but you have to buy them separately um and then the next oil <clears throat> orange we use all the time Emery's to favor or it's Emery's favorite to diffuse and it's just super uplifting. It works well with a lot of different oils. So it's in a lot of diffuser blends that we use. It just gives like that sweet and citrus um, note to anything. This it does not smell like orange uh, essential oil. This smells like orange juice. And it says orange essence oil. So I'm not sure why it says that. I feel like that's weird. And then comparing it just to the orange young living. Like this just smells just straight from the fruit. Like just super fresh, not sweet. Um, I don't know. So that's weird. I don't know why it would say that. Maybe I'll write them and ask them. Anyways, or I probably just look it up. But it's wonderfully uplifting and energizing. Orange essence oil has an intense citrus scent that adds a burst of brightness to any blend. And then tells you how to use that. Dilute 1-3% to 3 in your favorite carry oil. Uh, okay, and then... Oh, and the cedarwood and lavender are the same exact oil. Like the same, the cedarwood is Cedrus Atlantica, the same with plant therapy. And then the lavender, and they have different lavenders, I believe. But the one I got was the same, Lavendula angustifolia. I pronounce that, say it ten times fast. Okay, the, la or the second to last I got is this 70s blend because I love patchouli. I love the smells of the 70s, uh, but this has patchouli, cedarwood, lemon, lavender, clove, and rose. So when I read it online, like that is just all me, but it's very earthy. I do like it though. It smells good. It smells good. It's very like dirty hippie-ish though because it has all of those oils but anyways I like this it smells good I like that they have blends like this I thought this was fun um Young Living should do something like that like a 70s I don't know just different fun blends not that they don't have enough blends already but okay and then blue tansy is one I got because I love the smell of blue tansy I like diffusing it I like rolling it on for perfume I got a tiny little sample of it um from my friend and I'm just like I was using it just like the tiniest bit at a time because it's expensive um so another pro is I like that they use or they have these 2.5 how cutie uh but this one also says kids safe then it also, like I can barely read it, says when diluted. So I don't know, it's just kind of weird that packaging. But this one says it's one of the best oils to help you feel clear during times of seasonal pollen, which I didn't even know that. So that's cool. I'm going to look more into that because I have allergies pretty bad in the spring. Um, 
So also support compromised congested skin. This is like the queen of uh, skin essential oils. Blue Tansy is so good. It's in all of the good expensive serums. Oh, and you guys, it just smells so good. And it's, it's beautiful. Look at how dark that is. I love it so much. So I like that I can buy it from Plant Therapy for a little bit cheaper and get that size and it's even more affordable. So I wrote down some pros and cons that I have just like, um, and th I've had these for a while. So I've been testing them for a couple, a few weeks now. So um, just a couple of notes that I had. Packaging isn't consistent, it's consistent. So like I said, with that kids safe thing, just kind of weird. And people are weird about kids and oils and like, do not use oils on kids. I don't know. It's just, I feel like they, it's just, I don't know, something's off. Anyways, the next note I had was the orange was sweeter, so it's definitely not the same orange. I don't know what else is in it, but it smells like orange juice, so it smells like sweet and like not an essential oil. Um, lavender, the cedarwood, the blue tansy are all the same strain of oil, and they all smell exactly like Young Living's. Um, the one concern I have is that plant therapy doesn't have that they are therapeutic grade, and um, Young, Li Young Living does, so I... If I'm using an oil for wellness or ingesting, I want it to be the best of the best. I want it to be therapeutic grade, safe for ingesting. And Young Living has this line of white vitality oils um, that is approved, FDA approved for ingesting, for supplements, um, for using it as directed. So if I'm going to use an oil like that for my wellness, anything besides, I think, like fragrant properties like diffusing or maybe using as a perfume um I'm not gonna use anything besides saying living these are just my overall my my conclusion um okay my next note I like the stickers on the top of the bottle I already said that I like that they have blends rollers and sets okay I got cut off and someone woke up from their little nappy can you say hi so I think I'm done with Kind of just telling you my overall thoughts, what I like about plant therapy. Um, I couldn't find anything bad about their quality as far as like um, bad ingredients, filler, synthetic things going into their oils. I couldn't find anything on that. But like I said before, distilling essential oils is literally a science. And um, there was an example, I will try to put it in the description, but it was, don't quote this, it's something like this, like, if you distill oil X at, um, for 26 hours, you have gone too far, and, like, all of the therapeutic benefits are gone. If you distill it for 22 hours, it's not enough, but where Young Living sets itself apart from all the other brands is that they know exactly to the T how long to distill things, the correct way to distill each plant, each part of the plant. It's just literally there is so much more to it than we will ever know. Um, but if you're doing it in anything but the perfect way, you're just losing all of the benefits, the therapeutic benefits from the oil. So anyways, um, oh, you show me your cookie. Show your cookie. See, I got a cookie because I took a good nap. No? Okay. Um, so, things I will use plant therapy for. Um, like I said before, diffusing. Maybe applying topically. Maybe just for perfume. Um, I see it as a perfume grade, which, I mean, is good. I will continue to use the ones that I have. I don't know if I'll buy them again. Maybe the Blue Tansy since I can get it in that little um, size. But I view them as a, a perfume grade. Just that is just how I will use them and how I see them. What I will continue to use only Young Living for is wellness things. Um, supporting my immune system. Supporting our bodies when we're sick. Ingesting. Um and all of those reasons. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope that um, I gave a good review of plant therapy. I think they're a solid brand. I just don't think they're good, as good as Young Living. And I hope I explained that well enough. Um, but if you have any further questions, let me know. Only positive and real questions, not negative comments. Um, but I hope you guys like this video. Let me know which oil you want me to compare to Young Living next. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Bye. Can you wave? Bye!
I can't see you. You want to stand up? Okay, ready? Oh, oh, there's the baby. Okay, say bye, guys.